Hello everyone, welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. Today I'm going to try a new formula. I've never made this one before, but I have all the ingredients. My pastor of my church and my mother both have a lot of arthritis pains, joint pains. I believe in trying to use as natural medicine as you can. And I'm going to say medicine loosely because this is really not a medicine. But what it is, is using natural ingredients that might help some symptoms. And that's not medicine. This, these are ingredients that have been known for many, 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 many years. And it's just combining them in different ways. So, what I'm going to make today is a magnesium body butter. Now, I found this recipe after searching because I was looking for what might be able to help them. And there's so many different things that you can believe out there. But these things I've done research and I believe they might help. One of the things that I read is in arthritis and joint pain also that a lot of people are low on magnesium. Now is that, uh, is that true? Is that the reason for it? I'm not sure. But one of the wonderful things about magnesium is it's absorbed through the skin so easily. And because of that, one of the best ways to use it is to dissolve it and put it on your skin. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make a salve that has magnesium in it. And I also search to see what essential oil might be helpful for arthritis and joint pain. And one of the top ones that was mentioned is frankincense essential oil. And I do have that. So I'm going to make this up and I'm going to make a jar for my pastor and one for my mother and send that off to her in Texas and hope it helps them. I don't know. We're just going to try this and see what happens. So let me show you what I'm going to add to this. The first thing I'm going to do is grape seed oil. And it's a light oil and it absorbs in your skin. So grape seed is a good oil to use. And I am following her recipe for this, her formula. Um, other than the frankincense, she just says use your choice. But since I'm specifically doing this, trying to help them and possibly help their pain, I chose that one. So we're using grape seed oil. We're using one ounce of beeswax. And I have these little pastilles. They're little bitty pieces, and so they're easy to melt. You can use chunks, but you have to break them up. You have to, it takes longer to melt them, however you want. But you want pure beeswax. So it's one ounce of beeswax, one cup of the grapeseed oil, and we're going to use one cup of magnesium flakes. And you could, use, you could also use Epsom salts. It's high magnesium. I bought this online. And I don't, it's probably a brand name, but it's magnesium bath flakes. And I do know that when you have discomfort and whether it's your feet or whatever, if you soak in Epsom salts, it helps. So I'm hoping that that is going to help here too. We're going to add one teaspoon of the frankincense oil, 
one tablespoon of argan oil. And again, I've told you how I buy in bulk, so you, normally it's going to come in a very small bottle because it does tend to get pricey, but I buy it bigger quantities. And I'm going to use one tablespoon of organic, unrefined shea butter. The only thing I'm going to do different on this following her formula is she said to add the wax and the shea butter into a double boiler and melt it. Now, again, I've got that super low burner and I've got a heavy bottom pot, so I'm just going to do it in this pot. What I'm going to do different is I'm going to mostly melt the beeswax first. And when it's nearly done, then I'll add the shea butter because, as I said in my body butter recipe, shea can get stringy if it gets too hot. So I will get the beeswax almost entirely melted. I'll add the shea butter and let it melt. And then once that's done, you add the grapeseed oil. So I'm not going to film this entire thing, but I'll, I'll talk you through it so you know how to do it. So I'm going to melt the beeswax till it's almost melted, add the shea butter and let that melt, and then I'm going to add my grapeseed oil. So I will come back after that's all melted. Okay, so I melted the beeswax and then I added the shea butter and this took two to three minutes. It might take longer if you're using a double boiler. But it shouldn't take very long because those very small beeswax pastilles are very small. They, they melt very fast. The shea butter melts pretty fast, so it doesn't take long at all. Once I did that, I poured in the grapeseed oil. I'm not sure if it's going to let you see this, but it's almost got... A flaky texture because as I poured it in it was cooling. Um, it cooled, the grapeseed oil was cool temperature so that cooled it down pretty quickly. But what I'm going to do now, it says to put this in your refrigerator or freezer. Well I definitely don't have room in my freezer but it's cold. So I'm going to put a lid on this and put it outside and it should not take very long. I want to give it just a little bit of time to get semi-solid. And I don't think it'll take long at all. The pan's already just barely warm. And so I'm going to set this out and then we'll come back and start on the magnesium. So I'll bring you back in just a couple minutes. All right, I have the oils out on the porch it's 32 degrees. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's cold enough. So I've got them out on the porch cooling off. You don't want to let it get too solid. Just semi-solid is what we're looking for. So I'll be checking it very soon. Now I've got one cup of very hot water out of the tap. And to that I'm going to add one cup of the magnesium flakes. And now I want to stir this till it's completely dissolved. Now, one caution about this formula. Anytime you use water in any kind of formulation, like body butter, anything like that, you're either going to have to use a preservative or you're going to have to refrigerate it. And since I don't use preservatives because I just, I'm allergic and I don't think they're good for you, sometimes you just have to. This formula does not call for it. Um, and I don't think she says it has to be refrigerated, however, I'm adding water to my oils and it's not going to last very long at all if it sits at room temperature before you start getting 
nasty little things that might be growing. Now maybe the magnesium stops it. I don't know. I'm just basing this on what I know from making body products. Okay, that's completely dissolved. Now, I'm going to go check those oils and see if they're ready to go. And I'll bring you back in just a few minutes. All right, I set this out on my porch to cool. It was 32 degrees and it didn't take long. So this is what we want, semi-solid. You don't want to let it get totally hard. And now I'm going to put this into a bowl. The recipe says that to put it in a blender. You know what? I think a blender is going to be harder to use than using my mixer. So, I'm just going to make sure we get this stuff out. All right. And this is my magnesium and water, and it has cooled. And you want this completely cooled. All right, I'm going to add to the water, I'm going to add one tablespoon of argan oil. And we're going to add one teaspoon. Now again, if anybody that's watched me make soaps or anything before, I don't like using measurements. I like weighing. But this goes by measurements. So it calls for one teaspoon of the essential oil. And again, I'm using frankincense. And you know what? It smells wonderful. If you've never smelled frankincense, it's really nice. Oh my gosh, it smells so good just standing here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start blending it. And we want it to be smooth. So... That just took a couple of minutes and at this point what I'm trying to do is just get it smooth and you know what I see a few lumps I'm gonna go a little bit longer all right so now that I've got it smooth what we're gonna do is now just slowly Add a little bit of water and magnesium along with the oils at a time. You want to do this very slowly. What we're trying to do is emulsify. And just keep adding it a little at a time. until all of the water and magnesium mixture is completely absorbed and emulsified into the oil. And it may take me a little while, so I'll bring you back. All right, this took me several minutes to get all of the water and magnesium incorporated. And then once you do that, keep mixing until it's the consistency of frosting. It's not hard, but it's just, you can make lines in it. I guess in soap making, this is what we call kind of a heavy trace. So now what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put this into some containers. Now, I have two kinds. I have some little tins, and I think I'll put some in those. But I'm also going to put some in these heavy walled, double walled plastic jars that I use for my body butter. The reason for that is, is it'll kind of protect it also. So if it's in the refrigerator, it's going to get cold, but it shouldn't get really hard, I don't think. But we're going to have to see how that works. But I can also put some in these small tins so that they can carry it with them. Now, before I do that, something you may have seen me do in other videos is I have 91% alcohol. And I just spritz that on and I let it dry a little bit. And that's basically to sanitize it because we want to make sure we're not adding anything bad into there that could cause this to go bad also. Wouldn't be harmful, but it wouldn't be a good thing either. So I'm going to let those dry slightly and then we're going to put some in our jars. We're ready to put this into our little jars. And I really hope this is helpful. And again, I'm not a doctor. I am no expert. This is just what I do for my family and my friends. So do your own research and use your own judgment. So there's one jar. I'm going to clean the edges off before I put the lid on. And there we go, a little tin. So I'm going to continue putting this into the jars and the tins, and I'll bring it back when we're all finished. All right, here we go. I finished putting the magnesium body, I think she calls it body lotion, but to me it's, it's kind of between a lotion and a salve. I got four four ounce jars from this and these are two ounce tins and I got two plus almost a complete uh, another one. So again thank you to Carol Homand of Off Grid Homestead Homeopathy and Healing, a Facebook group, who graciously shared this recipe and said use it, do it. So I give all credit to her and again I hope this is helpful for my pastor and for my mother who have so many aches and pains. If it's not, it's not going to hurt them either, which to me is a huge thing. I very much believe in doing things as safely and naturally as possible. And Again, it's, it's just a light cream. It's not quite lotion, but almost. And it feels smooth going on because everything in there is good for the argan oil, grapeseed, shea butter, and that magnesium that should soak into your skin. And magnesium is considered an anti-inflammatory. So that right there is helpful. Um, we're going to give it a try. And if you enjoyed this, maybe you will too. Thank you for watching. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Hit the little notification bell so you know when I upload a video. God bless, and we'll talk again soon.